Okay, Bismillah alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, um, welcome to this afternoon's uh, Strawbridge Challenge brought to you by Muslims in Rail. Uh, Jazakallah khair for giving up your Friday afternoon to participate in this activity. Um, inshallah, it will roughly take about 30 minutes and we've got a fun packed uh, session for you um, and I'm sure you'll find it thoroughly enjoying. So before we get started, British Science Week. Everybody who's involved in education should know about British Science Week. British Science Week is an opportunity to celebrate all things science. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, um, it wouldn't be possible without science for us to talk to each other over Zoom, videos, broadband, laptops, computers, whatever it's got there's some element of science involved in there and this week or these 10 days is an opportunity to celebrate all of those things but also the opportunity for us to share with you um how you can get involved in science um and i'm pretty sure you you a lot of you have have science science is a big part of your life um and the way the world is moving more and more people are getting involved in science-based activities whatever that might be okay so who are muslims in realm okay you might have heard of us, you might not have heard of us, okay? Really simple, we're Muslims that work in the railway. We could be train drivers, we could be people who plan how one train gets from one location to another, we could be people in the background counting the money, we could be people who are cleaning the stations, it could be a variety of things. But in essence, it's a way of Muslims coming together in the railway. Why do we come together? We come together to have a lot of fun. We go out for dinners together, we raise money for charity, we go and provide careers advice, we do STEM activities in, in schools, um, we bring colleagues together to talk about Islam, whatever it might be, it's a great way of bringing the community, our Muslim colleagues together to participate in activities. The main person for this afternoon session is not me, it's Mrs. Siddiqui. And Mrs. Siddiqui is uh, a teacher, she's a science teacher and She's somebody who's going to take over this session for the next 30 minutes or so, and she's going to go into a really fun activity, a really enjoyable activity, something I know a lot of people are looking forward to. So without further ado, can I ask Mrs. Siddiqui to come forward? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, brother. How are you this blessed Juma? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing great. How are you, sister? Alhamdulillah. Really, really excited to uh, see what everyone produces after this session. Great. Over to you, sister. Just let me know if you need me to move the slides. Okay, brilliant. So we can move on to the next one. Right, let me just uh, carry on with the introduction. So my name is Mrs. Siddiqui, my, Mrs. Zubeda Siddiqui, and I've been teaching now for about 20 years. It's been a long time. So uh, this is one of my favourite activities because it, regardless of whether you're five years old or 105 years old, this is something that we can sort of come around and work on together. Now the challenge is to build a straw bridge, a bridge made out of straw. Now the first thing is to think about, well, why, why, why should we do a bridge? Now think about what a bridge does. It bridges the gap between one place to another, bringing us all closer together. And if we think back in history or where they've sort of came from and how old some of these bridges are, they're structures that last a lifetime, more than lifetimes. We've had bridges that are now over 500 years old. SubhanAllah, think of that. A bridge that is over 500 years old, even older than that. Okay, so we go to the next slide. Okay, so the, uh, the role uh, of bridges, like we were saying, was to bring people together. So what do they do? What, what, what things do we need to think about? Because as scientists, and we are all scientists because we all look at the world and we all think, oh, why is that? Who is that? How does that happen? So bridges, the whole point of the bridges is that they're made to carry people or things from one place to another, to overcome an obstacle. So. At the first one, they must have had uh, an idea. They must have had a river or they might have had uh, a, a, a place that they needed to get to. And the first sort of bridges that came about was simply by cutting down trees and making it go over and falling through the gap, falling across the gap so you could walk over. OK, but as time went on, uh, people started thinking a little bit more about what 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 can we do with them? Yes, we can walk over. What about if I wanted to take 
I don't know, my cow over there? What if I wanted to drive my car over there? What if I wanted to take a big lorry across there? So we had a development of different types of bridges. What I've got for you on the slide is just some very simple uh, samples of the types of bridges that you have. A simple beam bridge, an arch bridge, a suspension bridge, a cable stayed bridge and a cantilever bridge. These are the basic types of bridges. So while you, you are building your bridge, think about the type that you want to make and how you want it to look. Okay, so can we have the next slide? Now, speaking of looking, look at this. That is a bridge. So bridges aren't only functional. Look at how many cars are driving along that bridge. They've got to be very, very strong. Okay, they've got to be very, very strong. But looking at it, does it just look like a boring bridge? There's another one, there's, there's, there's uh, so many. They're not just one type. They, uh, you have to think about the design of the bridge. So um, we've, we had the previous suspension bridge, we've got an arch bridge and a, a beam bridge going across it. So you have to think about the design. Now look at that, now that is, you see that picture and everyone knows what country you're talking about because that's the London Tower Bridge and it's iconic. So when you're building the bridge, after you've made the basic structure, because remember the basic structure and I'll talk you through how to do that, think about how you're going to present it, think about the design, think about how you're going to make it look beautiful. Okay, think, look at creativity, think about how can you make any changes to it? Can you bring something into it? Because this science week, this National Science Week is all about future innovation. Is there something else we can add to this to make it even better? Moving on. Okay, what is the task? So the task for is to build a bridge to span a gap of 15 centimeters. Now I haven't done it bigger because a lot of the bridge, uh, uh, straws that we have at home are only about 19 centimeters. So we're gonna cross a gap of 15 centimeters and it's got to withstand a, an approximate weight of a yogurt pot, a full yogurt pot. You should all have yogurt pots at home. I'll show you an example of one uh, later, but if you don't have a yogurt pot, just, um, an empty plastic um, cup with um, a few coins inside, that sort of weight that we're looking at, okay? So that's the task. What are we gonna use? These are the three items to make the structure. Now, when you're decorating it, you can maybe add a few things for decoration, but the main structure must come from straws. So we've got a whole pack of drinking straws there. So drinking straws, sellotape, and a pair of scissors. When you are handling the pair of scissors, please remember health and safety and use them very carefully. Moving on. Here we go. We're going to start with the demonstration now. So let me show you. Okay, right. So this is what we are going to use. So I said we had scissors, sellotape, and we have some straws. So these are the items that we're going to use. Okay, but then how do we do it? There's so many, we saw so many different signs. I'm going to show you a simple um, a beam bridge on how to make a simple beam bridge. So I get my straw, I've got my ruler there just so that I've got the measurements. So I can make sure that it does become come over the 15 and carry the weight. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, I could simply just sellotape all of them together and call it a day. Do you think that would be very creative? And do you think that would, would it do the job? Probably. Is it gonna be creative? Are you going to enjoy sort of making that? Probably not. So we're going to try something a little bit different. We need to make it slightly wider because when we test them, we're gonna be testing them across something higher. So it needs to sit comfortably across what you are testing. So to make a simple beam bridge, what we need is we need the straws, but we need to slightly, off center them. So if we put it like this, so we have them slightly off center and we're making it like this, so we can put them all uh, ev evenly in, in a uniform form across and we're putting them together. So if I use, um, I don't know, I don't think that's wide enough, maybe, maybe a couple more, what do you think? I think maybe a couple more. And we have that, how does that look? I think that looks Okay, so that's going to be a simple beam. That's just the base that I'm making at the moment. Then we get our sellotape and we sellotape it together. Okay, so we can go under as we are doing it. 
and we sellotape it down. Okay. We need to sellotape not just one side, but the other side as well. That's going to be wide enough, but we'll see how we go with that. Okay. Now, if I just try to balance something on there, that may not give me as much support. So to, in order to get a bit more support, we're going to make something that is a support at the back. So if I flip this over on this side, we're going to add a bit more support to make it stronger. Because remember, one of the main things of a bridge is that it's got to be really strong. Now here, you can snip this into three and put it into a line so that it's like that. So you've sellotaped it together. It's easier though, if you can, because they are paper straws, you can bend them. So if you bend them, one and two. So what I've got is a section with three straws. That's just one straw folded. Okay, can you see how it's folded? Okay. And then if we sellotape that together, that can make up one of the trusses at the base to make it stronger. So how does that work? We place it there and we sellotape it across. Okay, so that's one truss. Can't just do one, we've got to do some more. So we're going to get some more trusses. Here's one I made earlier. And we're just going to put them together. Okay. And the more trusses that you have, the stronger your bridge will be. Okay, I think we'll be, I'll put it as three at the moment. Okay, so that's the base trusses. Is that it? Yep, well, that's the base stern. So that's how it sits. You flip it over and that's how it sits. Hmm, I have a simple beam bridge. Now, what can I do with it? Do I just leave it like that? Is, do you think that might be enough? What, what could we do? So this is where the design and the creativity part comes in because the, that is a simple base that we can do. If you want to try, we can do some alternative bases or some alternative sides. So here is where we have two straws and then we have cut the straws going across and making like a ladder style. Okay. Mrs. Now Speaking. that ladder style might not be very strong at the base. However, if we put that ladder style and sellotape it to the side, does our bridge start to look better? What do you think, maybe? Mrs. Siddiqui? Yes? Could I just ask that you move your bridge to the left a little bit, just so it's towards the screen, the left. That's it, that's it. Oh, I didn't realize, because I can't see the screen on my computer, so I'm- No, that's fine, my... that's fine. That's only- okay? the, the end of your ruler is the edge of the screen, just so you okay. know. Okay, brilliant. So I've got that. So what well, this now will be the side. So I've made this. Now, if I just show you how I made this. So I had two straws on one side, two straws on another side. So we sellotape them together. Here we go. So we're just sellotaping these together. We've got these two and we're sellotaping them together. sides now what you need is to get some more straws but this time we will be cutting them because they are separate so we can cut them the same sort of size as we've cut them before so they're quite easy to cut because they are paper but remember scissors are sharp so we do need to keep it safe so we're going to cut some across and across, and across. So we've got approximately the same sort of sizes and then what you do with these is you place them so they're on top so they're going to go like that so you have to put them from this side and then we'll flip them over like we did with the others you place them along and you sellotape them down again okay so you're building up the sides so how do we put it all together we have this is the base and now we're going to sellotape this if i start from this side i can put it here and then you can build an un another one on that other side Okay, so this is one way, let me sellotape, I ran out of sellotape, so I'm going to have to cut a little bit more. 
and you can start by putting together this is why we needed to extend the bridge length slightly so we can attach some of these things okay so we've got this and we attach it via sellotape putting it through slightly fiddly going through and then putting it together okay and then you do the same on the other side a bit more tape We do the same on the other side. So we feed it through, feed it through, and tape the bits together. Can you see how one side is done? Okay, so we can do the same for the other side, but I wanted to show you another design. So rather than having maybe just one style. I wanted to show you a few more. So this is another design. Now this is clever because this design can be used as a base or as a side. Okay, how did we make this one? So let me show you. You've got two straws, two straws. So the beginning part is exactly the same as what we have here. So we have the two straws. But this time, if I flip it over, can you see we've got straws going along here. So what we've done here, we've just used the one straw and we're bending it. So we're bending it halfway. So we're looking at, it's almost like a, um, like a wavy line or triangles that we're making. And then we use another straw for another triangle, another straw for another triangle, and we sellotape these ends. And in the end, you end up with something like this. Okay, so this we can use either as a base or as a side. There's my bridge once we've sellotaped that together. So let me sellotape that so we end up with a bridge. And then we're going to see, well, we've done it. Does it actually work? Okay, let's have a look. Put these together. Again, feed it through. To the bottom. I'm going to lift it up. It might be easier for me to lift up and put it in through this way. It stays. Cut a little bit of extra there. It's too long. Feed it through. And we're going to sort of take it. There you go. So that would be our bridge. I'm just going to sellotape the other side so it doesn't fall off. And our bridge is ready. So if I turn it around, you can see how we did the base. The base was a simple uh, straws put together with supports at the back. Then we had the sides. Now I've done the slides slightly differently, but you can pick your design. You can do one with the whole bridge made out of this design or a mixture of the designs. So that is my bridge. Shall we test it? Now this is the punching point. Will it work? Will it work? Let's see, Bismillah. Let's try. Right, so we're going to leave a gap of 15 centimeters. Here we go, I've got my ruler, so I'm measuring it out. I'm going to put my bridge across. And I'm going to put the yogurt pot and see. So this is my yogurt pot, so it's just a, a little yogurt pot. It's quite a lightweight. Uh, you can try with heavier weights and see how much weight it carries. And there you go, and it works. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so that is how you make a basic bridge. Okay, now when we're looking at it, we will be looking at uh, the design, the color, we can uh, maybe paint it, we can color it, we're looking at creative ideas. Can you innovate? Can you put something else on there? Um, these things that we will be looking at, and we're, I'll talk about that in um, uh, another minute. So that is the basic bridge that we are going to do. If there are any questions, please put them on chat and I will try and answer them at the end. So I'm going to turn, we're going back to the presentation now, please, brother. That 
was the demonstration. I hope that was very helpful. Uh, please ask questions and I will try and answer them as we're going through. Now, as I was going through, I did mention this thing about the criteria. What are we looking for? What will the judges want from you? OK, so the first thing we said was strength. Can it hold up? So obviously I used a very light yogurt pot. Um, now, if you were being if you wanted to push it even more, Let's see how much weight you could hold up. Maybe you could try a variety of weights and see which one does. So, but we're looking at strength. Remember the only three things that you can use is straw, scissors, and sellotape to make the structure. To make it look beautiful, you can use other things, okay? So strength, but it has to be strong enough to hold the yogurt pot up. The design, how does it look? OK, so that's where the creativity side, or maybe some innovating side, maybe you can use paints, maybe you can use colours, maybe you can use some shells to decorate it. Um, think about, um, the, and the last thing is think about what name you would call it. That's also a sign of creativity. I want to, you to think of very interesting names, names that really you think, wow, that would be really cool if that bridge had that name. OK, so something like that. I want to show you some examples that primary school pupils have made previously. So they didn't have a yogurt pot, so they just used a little cup with a few coins or a few marbles inside. So something like that as well. Now these, uh, so uh, like we said, we judged them on strength, on design, on creativity, and they gave a name for it. So once you've done all this, how are you going to submit it to us? What, how are we going to do that? So how to enter the competition? I think if I feed, if I go back to, so we've got this information for you. We, you have to take a picture of your bridge. Now in that picture, you know how I had mine set up. So with a gap with the ruler so that the person can see how it's done. So with the gap, with the ruler, um, with the weight on top. So that was my yogurt pot on top. And with um, a piece of paper or a white sticky label clearly labeling what you're calling the bridge. Okay, so all that information in one picture. So that's going to be a challenge as well. Get all that information into one picture. Then you attach that picture to the email. When you email, you must tell us your name, your age, the school that you're going to, the name of the bridge, and where and possibly think about location, but that you don't need to worry so much about the location. Now, the deadline for this is um, next week, Thursday. So you have just under a week to see how much of this that you can do. And the deadline, it finishes at one o'clock because after that, we're going to sit down in the, the judges are going to sit down in their judging panel and have a look at all the entries and then we'll declare the winner. OK, um, and with the winner ceremony, I will hand that over to Brother uh, Ahmed and he will tell you a little bit about what the winner ceremony will be about. Okay, Jazakallah Khair, um, Mrs. Siddiqui. We really appreciate your demonstration. It looks a lot of fun. Uh, I'm a little bit older than the, uh, the age range, I'm quite not there with primary or secondary, so unfortunately I won't be able to participate. But what I can tell you is there's lots of amazing, lovely prizes to be won. So whoever wants to participate in the competition, as um, Mrs. Siddiqui mentioned, has to email us before, before Thursday the 11th, okay, before 1 p.m., all the information that we've requested, a picture and everything that goes with it. We will then invite everybody who's uh, participated in the competition to the award ceremony on Sunday, the 14th of March at 5 p.m., okay? everybody will be invited to attend. And we'll make it fun, we'll make it engaging and, and we'll have a good laugh as well. The idea is that the first, second and third place, okay, participants will all receive a prize. Prizes include model bridges, some vouchers and some other goodies. Um, obviously, whoever, whoever finishes first gets a bigger prize than the second person and then, and then the third person. So everybody is invited to participate and we really think you should do because it'll be really enjoyable, okay? Um, now, in terms of where we go from here, um, for us, that's it, finished. We just wanted to say thank you, Jazakallah Khair, for giving us your time. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. 
We will be uh, putting this out onto YouTube, um, on our YouTube channel. We will email everybody who's registered um, the link to the YouTube page, and hopefully you can watch the video again, maybe, and uh, it will allow you to uh, get a little bit more preparation in before you submit your final video. Before we do finish it, I will gonna ask uh, Sister Sultana, are there any questions we need to take? We, the only question that we had was, can we use string for models? Um, um, Mrs. Yes, yeah. um, yes, you can, as long as it's not helping with the support. So to decorate it, to make it look like a suspension bridge, absolutely you can. However, it must not be part of the structure where the weight is sitting on. So if it's on the side, if it's along the, um, uh, the sides, the front, the back, the top, absolutely you can. Great. Any other questions, Sultan? Thank you. Um, we, we're having a few queries around what exactly the competition is. So I know Mr. Sadiq went over the competition details um, and we are looking to build a bridge. But if we could quickly go over the final competition details, including the deadline, please. Okay, so I'll quickly go over that. The competition is really simple, guys. Um, you have to build a, um, a bridge out of straws, okay? So you can use three materials, okay? With two materials, really. You can use sellotape and you can use straws. And uh, Mrs. Siddiqui laid out or said to you what the criteria is. So what we're looking for. So if I go back again, build a bridge to span over 15 centimeters that can withstand a yoga pot, okay? So that's your objective. Build a bridge 15 centimeters where you can put a yoga pot on top and it can bear the weight of a yoga pot, okay? You can only use these resources, but as Mrs. Ziki said, you can use other material to decorate it, to make it, uh, make it creative, be innovative, um, and to, to, to make, it, make it kind of different from other people's bridges. Take inspiration from the London Bridge or bridges around the world. Have a look on, on the internet for, for other bridges that look really beautiful. So one, the things that we're looking for is to make sure that it can withstand the weight of a yoga pot or even other things you could try, but at the very bare minimum, a yoga pot. We wanna make sure that it looks good. Okay, so it's a really nice design. We wanna see people creative. So Sister Sultana just mentioned that somebody was asking about can they use string? You can use string to make it creative, to show innovation, to show ways and means that by which uh, you've taken inspiration from other bridges around the world. And then finally, give it a name, give it a nice unique name and tell us a little bit about maybe why you've kept it that name, okay? A couple of examples again. Um, how you enter the competition, take a picture of your bridge, um, email it in to us. When you do send us the email, uh, tell us your name, your age, what school you go to, what the name of your bridge is, maybe where you might find the bridge. And you've got to send it all in to us by next Thursday Thursday the 11th of March by 1 p.m. Um, thereafter, we will invite our judges to uh, establish who's first, who's second and who's third. Um, and on Sunday the 14th of March, we'll hold a little ceremony over Zoom and we'll announce the winners. And hopefully, inshallah, following that, we will email out to you, well, sorry, not email, we'll post to you your prizes. Any other questions, Sultana, Sister Sultana? Not really a question, but a few um, people have mentioned that they don't have paper straws. If you don't have paper straws at the moment, please do ask your parent or guardian to buy a paper straws from a local supermarket or you can even pick it up from the pound shop. So please do ask an adult. Yep, that's great. Um, okay, so if there's nothing further um, from Sister Sultana or Sister uh, or Mrs. Siddiqui, um, I just want to say thank you once again to everybody. Jazakallah khair. Um, I hope you have a nice afternoon. And anybody who's joining us for the secondary session, it's the same link that you need to use. Okay, salam alaikum, everybody. Take care. Salam alaikum.